Memorandum from the Office of the President of the University. As we transition away from virtual learning, honesty has become a concern to us all. Consequently, from now on, students will be required to wear mandatory truth sensory gear in precept. Well, before we get started, I'd just like to say that I've been enormously satisfied with the way this precept has been going. And I don't think that these sensors will interfere with our progress at all. So, let's turn to the article I signed yesterday. I trust you've all read it. Uh, Edward! I found the article thoroughly stimulating. I mean, very thought-provoking. Well, I'll just keep my mouth shut. Marley, maybe you would like to continue this discussion? Uh, I found the article very big. Um, can you expand on that? Well, to be honest with you, I've never seen a 300-page article before. I don't see why you waste your time in this class, Marley. I mean, you never do the readings, you rarely hand in your papers, and you never seem interested in the intriguing topics that come up in our discussions. Edward? Yes? I really respect your opinion. Mary, you've got a comment. Yes, I have a few technical notes. On page one, line three, there's a run-on sentence. On page 105, line six, there's a horrifying comma splice. And on page 312, line 20, there is an absolutely disgusting dangling modifier. Mary, this article isn't numbered by line. Mine is. I number everything I read. I find it very helpful during exam season. Are you sure this thing's hooked up right? <laughs> Marley, just because I spend a great deal of time in the library does not, if so facto, make me a nerd. Mary, you amaze me. Don't you see that these male-generated rules just keep you a victim of the system? You're a perfect example of our morally depraved and politically apathetic society. It's like we can't even hold a discussion that isn't riddled with hypocrisy. It's as if this whole world was just one big black box controlling our minds until we can't think. You'll have to excuse her. She's in mourning for her sense of humor. I have a perfectly fine sense of humor. I'd like to hear from someone else today. Joe, do you have something to add? Do I have something to add? It's the opposite of subtract. Well, I think... Oh. Did that hurt you? Jennifer, dear, he's a strong boy who doesn't need your help. Oh, come on. She was oh, just... Oh, sure. Throw her in my face just because I said I couldn't continue a relationship that was compromising my personhood. Relationship? I never... You're going out with her? It's not what you think. Okay, it was one night. A weekend. I didn't even enjoy it. You liar! You slime! I can't believe you would go out with her! When I told you I loved you, I meant it! Cheating on me when I've been totally faithful? I'm not the kind of girl you can just push around. I won't do anything just for sex. Biden is a progressive. Those documents were declassified. Freshman boys get action. Forbes is worth the walk. Forbes is worth the walk. Forbes is worth the walk. Do they sell these at the U store? <laughs> For God's sake, can I get this class back to normal? Hard to act normal when you have a cattle prod stuck to your forehead. Well, if you people would just tell the truth. Well, why don't you try wearing one of these? All right, I'll put one on. Now, as the author of the article states, the electoral system is unfair only insofar as it depends on an untenable representative heuristic. Is that clear? Yeah. yeah. Ask another! Ask another! People, please! You won't be able to write your
your papers if you haven't read this article. <laughs> Speaking of papers, when are we getting our last ones back? I finished grading most of them. A few of them. I'll get them back to you as soon as I can. As soon as I feel like it. I don't have to wear one of these things. I'm not in graduate school for nothing. Time is up! If you would like to talk to me about any of this, you can see me during my office hours. I am always available to see students every Wednesday from three to five. Three to four. Three to 3.30. Make an appointment! <laughs> Tupac lives at the Wah. I knew it! <laughs>